Okay, now here I'm going to go ahead and go over vacuum sealing dry foods for long-term storage in quart-sized regular mouth ball jars. Nah, this is, um, you know, something I do regularly to uh, for my own food, food stores. So right now I'm setting up to put away some more peanuts uh, raw with skin. And I'm going to go ahead and just vacuum seal them up in these jars. And I figured I'd do a video while I'm at it to give everybody a little insight on how I do it. You probably already know if you're a uh, you know, long time prepper, but if you're new, and this is, uh, you know, some good stuff for you. So basically you got, um, here is my Discants. These are silica gel, dry and dry is the brand. I ordered them just off of Amazon. And I go ahead and throw them in there with the peanuts right before I seal them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start rolling these peanuts in there. So you can see that process. See if I can do it with the whole phone in my hand. Okay, put those in there. Just gonna do it without spilling one. Oh, one fell. Okay, now we're topped off. Just about. Go ahead and put that uh, silica gel pack in there. You know, that's just, you have to move it around a little bit, get that tucked in. There's another. My hands are clean. I washed them. That's always a good thing when you're working with food. Keep your hands clean. Um, pot some more peanuts on top there just to top it off. And then I take my lid. Good, good. Take the lid, go ahead and lay it on there just like so. Now you take your attachment here, regular size. Make sure your ring's on there nice inside there for a seal. Pop that bad boy on and go ahead, come over here to your food saver machine and hit vacuum seal. Whichever machine you're using, typically you'll hear the motor wind up when the air gets tighter. So you'll get a little indicator as to, you know, you got you got a seal there. And then the machine will stop just like it did. Once it hits that certain point, it shuts itself off. And I like to hit it again just to be sure that it's all sealed. I've never actually had a problem yet. I've done quite a bit of cans. So I just do it anyway to like satisfy my OCD or whatever. So, hold on a sec. There we go. And it feels good. <laughs> and good. Then I'll pop this off the top. That Go ahead and break the seal. Pull this piece here. And voila. Oh, it could be a little neater, couldn't I? We'll go ahead and uh, take that and you know put that back into play there for your next one. And boom, voila, now you're sealed. You know, you got that little bubble there, you'd see if it was not sealed, you, you would be able to press it. And then I uh, you could take your your what would you call this? Your, your ring, and you go ahead and you know you can float it there. On the uh, on the ridges or you know so that way you can stack if you need to stack but uh, you know some people don't stack I personally do some of these so that way you won't put pressure on the lid and maybe potentially break the seal so there's that there so good so whatever you're storing get an idea uh, do a little research on how long it can store and that way you know you know what's going on and how often you got to cycle through things so hopefully that helps everybody uh, anybody that needs the info and until the next video just uh, stay tuned take care